In this video, we're going to show you how to manage uh, prepaid assets, uh, things that you have paid uh, and then how you can transfer them as expenses on a monthly basis. I'm going to take uh, an example of uh, say even our software, ULaw, that you paid for uh, uh, 12 months and you want to actually transfer that prepaid asset on a monthly basis. How would you do that? Uh, so one of the ways that you would have normally done it, you would have just done it as an office expense and you would have said the amount is, uh, uh, let's say in this case it's uh, 461.04 and we would have cal calculated it as 408.53 uh, and, and you would have assigned it to ULA. That's one way of doing it. Now the problem with this is all the HST is applied in the month of August. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to hold off HST for this year and next year. In that case, what you would do is rather than putting it as, uh, you know, an expense, you'd mark it as a prepaid purchase. Let's say in the month of June, on the June 1st, right, you paid, uh, you know, uh, it was a prepaid expense and you can say ULaw software and you paid uh, uh, 461.04, right? And you paid that from your credit card and you can say it was paid to you law and you know and you can give the reference number and hit the submit button so that was paid on june the first now what you can do in you in in you law is now that you have marked that as a prepaid expense you can transfer it to your expense on a monthly basis and i'll show you a couple uh, let's say for the month of june itself you want to do you can go back to asset and you can say i want to do a periodic transfer Okay, and this is where you would mark it as ULaw and you would mark the monthly value, which is $34, right? And, uh, you know, and you would mark it for June the 1st, right? And you can hit, uh, it's from the prepaid expense, right? And you can hit the submit button. Now, for July, what you can do is you can actually go back and say action asset prepaid, and you can just say, July the 1st, right? Mark it as ULA and just autofill the last payment. What the software will do is it'll go and compute that exact same expense, the ULA expense, and fill it in. Then you can hit the submit button. So you can say ULA software, right? So that's for uh, July. You can do the same thing for August. August the 1st, ULA software, uh, prepaid. Just do an autofill and it automatically fills in everything and I, I just need to hit the submit button. So what we have demonstrated to you here is under asset you would first do a prepayment which is like you know whenever the expense happened you would actually assign it to your general account so that you can reconcile general and then on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis you can periodically transfer that uh, asset to an expense so that you can mark the HST.